So what is a foreground service? A foreground service in Android is a service that performs operations that are noticeable to the user. These services must display a notification so that users are aware of the outgoing task. They are commonly used for tasks such as music playback, location tracking, file downloads or uploads, or sensor data monitoring. Key features of foreground services are persistent execution, continuous running even when the app is minimized, notification requirements, displays a persistent notification while active, higher priority, less likely to be killed by the system under low memory conditions, user awareness, ensures transparency by showing active service information. Now let's get into the examples. First, let's create a simple background timer. This example demonstrates a foreground service that logs the time every few seconds. So first, we must create a new class inside of the Android folder. Now we must mark this class as an Android service. And create a variables like unique ID for the foreground service notification, handler used to schedule task on the main thread, and action to log messages. In the onCreate method, initialize the handler with the main threads looper and define a repeating action that logs a message every 5 seconds. Next, in onStart command, create a notification for the foreground service with features like notification title, text and icon. At the end of the line, we write build, and now we can start the service in the foreground. It is required for Android that is in version 8 or newer. Start the repeating logging task and return sticky to restart the service if it gets killed by the system. On destroy method, we can stop the repeating task when the service is destroyed. For foreground service, you have to add a permission in manifest file that is foreground-service. For Android 8 and newer, you must create a notification channel before starting the service like so. Second example continuously fetches GPS location updates while the service is running. So again, we must create a new class with mark service, but additionally we must implement iLocationListener for location updates and create location manager that provides, for example, GPS. Now in onCreate method, we must get the systems location manager service by typing get system service. And in onStart command, again we create a notification for the foreground service and write start foreground with our service ID and notification. But after that, you must implement that line because GPS location requires updates every 5 seconds or 1 meter change. And at the end, return sticky to restart the service if it gets killed by the system. In onDestroy method, we stop location updates when the service is destroyed, and in location changed, we can log the latitude and longitude of the location. Of course, this service required to add a permission of access course location and access find location as well.
I hope you have a better understanding of foreground services, at least to some extent. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.